y'all welcome back to my channel if you don't know me my name is katie i make stuff vegan okay so boom so y'all today's recipe is simple it's delicious i saw keith lee on tiktok try this but using um chipotle like the worker at chipotle made this for him and then i was like that looks like something familiar and then i went to the comments people were like that's a cheesy going to get crunch from taco bell and i forgot about this i never actually tried this before going vegan because i don't know the idea of like uh like two taco shells is not seem appealing to me but it ended up being super good sorry talk about and also he's like tried it with like that sour cream sauce that i made in my chipotle video so i will link that as well so you can dip it in it like he dipped his in it i ain't want to do that today if you want to see how i made a vegan cheesy gordita crunch keep on watching don't forget to like comment subscribe so you never miss any of my videos and as always the link to the detail recipe will be in the description box below okay let's get started yeah when i say simple when it says simple, I mean simple, all right? I mean simple, simple, simple. So basically, like I said, it's a hard shell tortilla wrapped with cheese and a flour tortilla. So this time around, I did not feel like eating impossible meat. I think I said it before, like beyond meat, impossible meat, I be getting tired of it sometimes. And you know what? I remember that I used to do this all the time. I'm like, why don't I do this more often? I use tofu as taco meat. And like more often, I mean like I haven't done it in the past like six months. But anyway, I know it looks, well, I don't know how it looks to you, but it might be like, girl, what is this? But trust me, when you manipulate tofu, you put your little seasoning on it. You can use more, I like using taco seasoning, don't drag me. Like I know it's up for debate, like it's controversial, whatever. I like taco seasoning. I don't want to season it myself. If you want to get in there and cumin and chipotle, da -da -da -da, real thing but when you cook it down and you let it do its thing the water will like come out of it and the texture will be similar like in the neighborhood of like an impossible meat a ground meat whatever it's very very good and don't drag tofu okay we we are very nice to tofu over here we're very tofu positive tofu facing community at katie makes it be okay that took like i ain't gonna lie to you like 10 15 minutes because you have to wait for the water to leave but super easy okay time to build the little thing so the the thing is that we have to figure out how to get the cheese to stick to the hard shell taco so i'm going in with this vegan uh mozzarella from aldi i like this cheese they've done a lot of work with it like it tastes pretty good now like it's not my favorite cheese definitely like my little vial life but this will go all right and I'm going to put mine in my air fryer. My recipe says that you should use the oven because I already got an air fryer. You can try making this on the stove top, but that just seemed like a certain amount of trouble and trauma that I didn't feel like inflicting upon myself because I was I couldn't figure out, oh, I see it now. I could have it on the stove. Do this on the stove, you could do yours. I just, I didn't, and the cheese was gonna be going everywhere. I just, it didn't feel like my ministry. You know what I'm saying? But do we wanna do it? I decided to wrap mine up in foil and put it in the air fryer to let it do its thing and let the air fryer do its work for you, for me. But you know, you put it in the oven, do it on the stove top. Like I said, I ain't gonna be at your yard. I ain't gonna be at your house. Um, so when I got to this point, this had been like five minutes, right? When I got to this point, I was like, why don't we just keep the party going? Like, why don't we make the good times roll? I'm gonna finish it off in the air fryer because my plan was to bring it to the stove and get a little crispy. And you know, between me and you, since like you here, I feel like that will eat, that will, that will be gas because like it will get crispy on the stove and it will give like, it will like fry up really nicely, but I ain't wanna do that, but you do that, let me know how it turns out, okay? So I'm just gonna build it up how I like to um, make tacos. You know what I'm mad about? I have jalapenos and tomatoes in the fridge. This is what I'm talking about. I just be doing anything. Where's the rest of the top is at? Oh, and I put the sour cream underneath my tofu because I hate when be sliding around, but look at it. Super good, super crispy, even the air fryer. I was on a meeting, but like luckily the meeting was with my friend, but I was like, oh, like, <laughs> super good i hope you try it. it's definitely different and if you're not american and you like this is some american stuff yeah it's tex-mex you know what i'm saying but super good and now you could try it because there's no way to veganize that taco bell so you can do it at your yard let me know what you think let me know if you try this recipe thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe so you never miss any of my videos while you're here check out my other videos i done told you about the chipotle one um Oh, you know, it'll be tea if you put that carne asada in the middle. I'm gonna link that. 
girl peruse thank you so much for watching the recipe is in the description box below and i will catch you in the next one bye y'all